There's a principle. You got to feel it to heal it. Yet often, people are like a block of concrete. Because through our life, we've been let down, we've been hurt, we've been disappointed by our loved ones. So we put a wall up on, around our heart, and it makes it difficult for love and tenderness and caringness to get through to us. And it's difficult for our love and caringness to get through to someone else. So how do you fix that? Well, the way to be able to drop that wall is to first go into the underlying feelings that you have in and around feeling loved, acknowledged, special, nurtured as a child. Very often as kids, the emotion of being unimportant, overlooked, a nuisance, or just unloved in general can lock into our feel. And by feeling into those first, then we can heal it and change the way that we feel around it. How to heal brain fog from the gut. How to heal brain fog from the gut. So your brain is super connected to your digestive system. Probably how you got brain damage from. I believe that Jesus can set you free from sickness and disease. No matter what you're suffering with, the power of God is able. Only believe. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that one receiving this right now. And I ask that your power will begin to flow like a mighty weather. Let them receive of your healing virtue, I pray. We come against sickness and disease of all kinds. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for healing. Precious Holy Spirit, let them sense your healing powers flow through. And we promise to give you all the glory and the honor. Let them receive that healing touch now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And I want you to say it because you agree. Say amen. You ever feel like you're running on empty? You're not alone. Burnout is a state of exhaustion from continuous stress. It's the outcome of being overwhelmed, drained, and unable to meet relentless demands. To tackle it, identify the signs. Are you feeling detached? Are you finding it hard to start your day? You might be hurting towards burnout. Now the key is to manage your stress. It could be via working out, meditating, or just giving yourself moments of relaxation. Importantly, don't hesitate to say no when needed. Also, reach out for support. This could be for your loved ones or professional, because you're not alone in this. Lastly, reevaluate your priorities. What truly matters to you? Ensure that you're investing your efforts in things that match your value. It's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. So always take care of yourself because you're worth it. Sometimes you got to take a step back, stop taking things personal just for a moment and allow yourself to take a step back to see what was going on around me. Really understanding the energy, the experience of life at that time and then start to have some compassion. And then you start to understand the people in your life and you understand that they were just humans. They were just doing their absolute best. Family members didn't know how to manage. So they was probably so scared and they don't know how to tell you the things that I'm trying to take care of my family. I'm trying to figure out how to save the, the marriage. I'm trying not to fall as a man. I'm trying to be strong. And it's like you start understanding that they're just not, they're bigger than the giants in their life, but they're the people who are just trying to figure out their life. And that's how you've killed the trauma. And it's like, if you think you suck right now, I want you to understand one thing. That was somebody else's voice putting that inside your head. Most people are in some version of an abusive relationship with themselves. Their insecurity, because we all have it and we all suck at things. Stop putting others on a pedestal to only undermine yourself. When in essence, a parent probably put that insecurity or negative inside of you. You don't hate yourself as much as you think. You don't think you stink as much as you think. You are borrowing the words of something that happened along the way. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are capable of starting the process of not doing that anymore. You're worth it and it's worth it. You need to visualize where you want to be and what you want to accomplish. You kind of get lost in the process of the day to day, grinding and out, working, feeling on edge if you have to. But it's just about not losing vision and not losing sight of what you're trying to accomplish. And no matter what hurdles you got to go through to get there, I think that kind of relates to whatever you are, or whatever field you're doing, maybe you chosen. To, to do football, sports, basketball. For me, art is like I visualize what I want to do. I put it on a board. I come up with my goals and not getting lost in the process of the day to day grind, but just focusing on getting better every single day. I ask a lot of questions of myself and other people who have been through it before. And I try to get that experience and lean on that advice so I can outwork the next person no matter what. And that's what overtime is. No, for real, because comparison is a formula for misery. We compare ourselves to the best day or the best picture we see of someone else on social media. We compare ourselves to different times in our lives. 
you have been in a relationship and you try to compare it to his fifth year to the fifth week, it's not even fair to that relationship. There's so many different stages in life. There's pathways to happiness and there's pathways that lead us to unhappiness. One of those things to unhappiness is, is comparison. It's an ego. We're trying to one up something in our life. I think it's a matter of being more present in the moment in your life and saying, I deserve to be happy right now. You got to stop looking at what you don't have and what's not happening for you and start appreciating what you actually do have. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. And that's the only way that you can really climb out of like a place of focusing on what you don't have is by focusing on, man, what do I have to be thankful for? Everybody got something to be thankful for. Even a homeless man, if he wanted to, he could be like, yo, I'm breathing today. My arms work, my legs work. You can start very small. It's a process, but that's how you get up out of that negative space.